The spinning cross chainer is actually a complicated animation. It has different parts which are connected to each other and should all move smoothly. You kind of succeed in connecting all parts, but the proportional movement of the spinning wheel is hard to do. Yet the iron connected to the wheel is moving as a falling and invisible path, and it does follow a motion path. I will show you how it works in OpenTunes. The spinning back wheel is the technical heart of a cross train like this one. If you fail to draw its movement both proportionally and circularly, it won't look too good. And this animation is creating an illusion. Why? Because there really is no spinning wheel. I have drawn an image of the letter P which is turning around by 360 degrees. To complete the illusion, an iron is parented to a motion path. A motion path is an individually predefined route drawn by hand to which an image is assigned. By setting the parameters, you define at which point of the route the connected image is situated. As in OpenTune, the settings are made in percentage of the route, it allows you to define exact time proportions and make a smooth animation. And it's much easier to do, especially for a complex geometric figure like a circle. So let's draw a motion path and assign it to the cross trainer. It is already done for this animation, so let's take a look and recreate. Open the schematic window. I parented an image of an ellipse to the iron. The iron is the surface the runner stands on. You don't have to use a circle image, but it is easier for the next step. In the example, there are two motion paths which may confuse you. Well, there are two irons on the stepper. One for the left foot and one for the right foot. So I define two similar motion paths. We now concentrate on the left foot only. The other one works identical. Click on the image you want to assign a motion path to. Then right-click on the gray background and select New Motion Path. You can either load a safe path you drew and saved earlier, or you now draw it. That's what we do. Select the motion path, click on the drawing tool, and draw the route for the motion path. Save it. Now we define the position on the motion track for the frames. We need to define at least two frames to have an animation. In this example I defined many more. The first one is 0%. We go all the way down to 100%. The more frames you define, the better you can adapt the animation. As we do not want the circle image to be seen in the animation, we turn it off by clicking on the button up above. As you can see, it's turned off. The first line makes it invisible for the rendering, the second line makes it invisible for the canvas. As a circle is hard to draw, it is comfortable to have that circle image. Select the motion path, click on the drawing tool, and draw the route for the motion path. Save it. Thank you for watching this video and keep going.